Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's the 2nd of April, 2019. Today we are in the uh, Boyertown Step Van. Yeah, my mobile studio, which we put to work here a few days ago. I got the music shut off because you can't hear it. I am uh, going to put the Protronics Igniter Electronic Ignition System on the Ford 300 cubic inch six cylinder. We got it all tuned up. Thing runs like a champ. I mean, it runs like new, but I had the wrong ignition, electronic ignition kit. <clears throat> I had the wrong one for a couple years. So we settled for new plugs and plug wires and so forth on a previous video. But down in there is the distributor, and down in there is where we got to work to get the Protronics put in. Um, this is actually the exact same kit as I put in the distributor on my 56 Ford F100 inline 6 223 when it was a stock distributor. It's got a, um, a modified dual point distributor in it now, a Mallory dual point distributor with a better advanced adjustable advance curve with a crane electronic ignition. Um, that's how we rolled with that one. I got a small fortune tied up in the distributor in that thing. It is what it is. We're putting up Protronics in here. These are less than a hundred bucks. You can get them for practically anything. And uh, if you're not paying attention, you can order them for the wrong vehicle. Don't ask me how I know. Um, if anybody needs a Protronics for, I think, a dual point distributor for V8 Ford, let me know because I happen to have an extra. Anyway, let me uh, get the cap off and uh, start taking the points out. This should bolt straight away, right in place of the contact points and we'll uh, basically take its place and I should never have to open that distributor again for 100 years or 15,000 miles whichever comes first when I bought this step van had been sitting probably 25 years hadn't run drug it out of a guy's place he bought it for a potting shed but the floor was rotted out so obviously I've replaced the floor in this whole thing all except for that piece over there I haven't got to it yet um, to get it running, I didn't have any spark. I cleaned up the points, still didn't have any spark. I threw a, uh, condenser in it, new or used, I can't remember, um, and it run. And that's as far as I ever got. I didn't, uh, readjust them. I didn't do anything. That's, uh, where it, uh, was when I got it running. And I've been driving it a little bit over the last couple of years. And, uh, I'm scared to death because, <laughs> Those points are old, old, old. So, let's get in there. Let's get them out of there. Let's get this old baby upgraded. And this thing already runs beautifully. But we can make it run possibly a little better. If it can be run a little bit better, we'll make it run better. We'll do that today. Alright, it's kind of a bummer place to work and a worse place to video. But I got the points and condenser unbolted. There is this uh, rubber plug with the wire in it that goes through the distributor we're going to try and get it out of there intact Ta -da! good going to actually leave it all together and I've got the just if there was room for everything in there that would be awesome I have the nut loose on the coil See if I can buff by hand to get the wire from the points and condenser off the coil. I also have a wire on the coil for the tachometer. Yeah, there we go. Uh huh. Let me put this over here for safe. Keeping. Yep, you can't see that. It's way too dark. But what are you going to do? So, ta da! All right, it's out with the old. So, there's the old points. Condenser, the wire. I've saved this all intact. Why? Because I'm going to put it back in that box and leave it in this vehicle. Um, this vehicle, 
might road trip one day and if something catastrophic ever happened or something I could always put that back so I'll leave the screws in the box I'll leave the points condenser in the box it ran once I could on the side of the road install those and uh, make it run on points again you don't have to undo anything that's critical okay I wish I had one more hand but I don't Oop, that'll hang there all right let's dig in there's the magic there's the magic and there's the rest of it instructions anybody need these you don't need these got some nuts and some crimp connectors and this obviously slides on to the distributor shaft the idea is that there are um, magnets in that that mimic the lobes on a on the distributor shaft that the points would open and close on and this magnetic pickup simply sees those magnets as they go round and round and triggers the coil just like the points would trigger the coil only in this case no more moving parts as long as the, the shaft itself is spinning the magnets are spinning there's no contact between here and the magnetic pickup coil which is in here um, and it just counts them as they go by and sends a signal to the coil to give me spark that's all there is to it it's just that simple knock on wood I have yet to hear if anybody's had any issues with the Pertronics. I have one in that 36 Ford truck. I have one in that 65 Econoline with a 240 straight six. Where else do I have one? I have them in a couple vehicles that I have sold, um, but I was always successful in putting those in. I had a 61 Ford Falcon Ranchero with a 200, no 170. Yeah, it was originally a 144, put in a 170, put that in, and it was perfect. Never looked at it again. So I highly recommend them. They're relatively inexpensive, and they're a great Made in USA product. All right, now I've just simply got to bolt that thing back in where the points used to be, using the same holes. Um, they should line up beautifully sit down there don't need a condenser anymore and then we hook one wire up to the coil and I think the other one is grounded yes I will have to open up those instructions to remember which color goes to where and snap the uh, magnetic pickup doodad under the rotor put the rotor back in put the cap back on and uh, fire this baby up I am very anxious to have this uh, all with modern electronic ignition because the rest of this thing runs so well that uh, it's just nice knowing you could just go hit the road with it and all will be great. Um, the only other issue that I would have with taking a road trip with this is the fact that there's a little play in the steering and the steering is very hard to turn. I've been speaking with a company about um, fixing the steering gear, rebuilding it right there hard to see but uh, that might be a next project okay I'll check back with you shortly okay so I've got the igniter in we got the distributor the magnet piece put on the distributor shaft this little piece of plastic is the feeler gauge where you set the distance between the pickup coil and the magnetic ring and then you just tighten them up just like you'd set points so it's going to take like three hands to do it, and I need more than one. So I'll just show you this. That's what we're going to do. We're going to set the gap with this. Put the rotor on. Put that rubber plug carefully in the hole to exit the wires out of the distributor, making sure they have room, making sure they're not rubbing, because um, the advance has to you know, move a little bit in there. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Well, the worst part of this thing was getting a tie wrap on the, those two wires to hold them down to that base plate thing that moves. 
But I got it. It's hard to get two arms down there. So with the help of a really long needle nose pliers, we finally got a tie wrap on there. Got the rotor back in, got everything set. Just got to hook the wires up and we'll give her a test ride. Okay, back in a sec. Well, gang, I think we got it. I didn't have half a toolbox out here or nothing either. A couple of cool things about the kit. Where is it? There it is. So the red wire from the Pertronics goes on the positive side of the coil. That's the one that gets switched on when you turn the ignition key on. The black one goes to the negative side of the coil. That's where your points used to land. On the positive side of the coil on this old truck, the 67 Ford, um, it had one of these push-on connectors, and it was actually spliced to the end of a wire, and this could be a factory deal or something. So I was like, oh, I got to pull this off. Now I need a stake on ring terminal for this, and because this is a slide-on, I need a nut. Well, the kit actually came with an extra ring terminal, so it, it all matches. So it had one ring terminal for the red and the black wire, plus an extra one to replace something like this, and I used it. And then it came with actually two nuts, um, so I used one of them where that one didn't have a nut. So the kit's very complete. Um, obviously, they tried this, and it works. Um, so we're ready to test start it. Take it out of gear so we don't run nothing over. Let's find some keys. Uh, this one. Remember, this is powered by propane. It's like fuel injection. You don't even need to touch the gas. I don't care if this thing sits for three months. It'll only turn it a couple times and it'll start right up. It's awesome. Ready, set, cross your fingers. All the plug wires are on. Yep, good to go. There we go. Right on, right on. This thing is like ready for the road. I should check the timing on it. I probably have never checked the timing on it. There's a pretty good chance that when I uh, did like the belts and hoses and cleaned up the engine a little bit, I marked the balancer on the front so that I know where the timing mark is. I usually try to do that. Maybe I've done that, I can't remember. Anyway, another time, maybe this weekend or something, I'll check the timing on it. Um, then it should be good to go. I mean, mechanically, this thing is good, other than that uh, steering gear I was telling you about. So, electronic ignition. Let me hit the gas here. All right, I'm very happy camper. We got the electronic ignition. It's only taken two years to get it, but we got it. Gang, thanks for watching, comment, and subscribe. And please hit the thumbs up button if you found this video at all entertaining or useful. These videos come absolutely free to you, but if you hit the like and thumbs up button, it's like putting pennies in my piggy bank. Gang, we'll catch you on the next video.